Good afternoon, it's me, Pat Miller, Gabby the Gab, for our weekly Friday interview, which is Thursday because it's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day just isn't fair for anybody else. So I am with, well, probably one of my very favorite people ever, Randy Lehman of Shook Charcoal Chicken. Randy, welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here today. We are always happy to have you. And as opposed to everybody else, you're just having a ball opening restaurants. Yeah, this is our uh, third Shook that we've opened in two years. So 2018, we opened on South Pearl Street, right between Thanksgiving and Christmas. 2019, we opened over on 8th Avenue, right between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And this year is the third year in a row that we've done that. So we opened here at the Stanley Marketplace last Saturday. Um, so Do three I years ask in a row, what's happening chokes. next year? <laughs> I don't even, I can't even think past this afternoon right now, Pat. So I don't even know. <laughs> I believe that. Okay, well, in case there's somebody in the world, especially around here, who doesn't know what Shook is, blah, 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 tell us. So we're a uh, charcoal fired rotisserie chicken shop. So we do, you know, everything we do revolves around the charcoal fired rotisserie chicken, really clean, really healthy food, tons of veg options, lots of salads and sandwiches, but it's really about um, ease, accessibility, really clean ingredients. Um, my chef partner, Alex Seidel owns Fruition Restaurant and Mercantile. And we're just a quick casual version of that with, you know, a focus on rotisserie chicken inspired by um, our founder, Adam Schlegel's time in Australia. So there's all these little chicken shops throughout Australia, and Adam loved that when he was down there with his uh, with his family for a while, and decided to bring it to Denver. So here we are, three restaurants later. Well, a the food is fabulous, which of course is reflected by everybody who's there, but it's also perfect for all of us who are a little COVID crazy, stuck at home, or if you have to do delivery, pick out pick up or whatever that's what you're all about you were designed for this absolutely it was um we we've been very fortunate uh to to have had a model that could handle takeout and online ordering um prior to all of this madness over the last year but it's um you know we're, we're designed for a quick easy healthy really satisfying fulfilling meal so it's you know it's easy and it's fun and it's uh, not something you really have to think about. You can do it last minute, um, unless it's Christmas Eve when we're totally sold out because that doesn't work for the last minute. Which but, is today, in case you're watching yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> don't order today. Don't order today. We don't have any chicken left. We're cooking all the chickens that we have today. So, yeah. You're ki and they're all sold out already? Yeah, we sold out. Um, the, ho the holidays have actually been really good for us. And our food is really designed for that. It's comfort food mashed potatoes and gravy, oh, and mac and cheese, mm. our Pacific dinner rolls, which are just like the best sweet dinner roll ever. And, you know, good charcoal fired rotisserie chicken. Who doesn't love that as the center of their meal? So really meant for like, you know, holidays are kind of perfect for what we do. And we sold out three days in a row at all of our locations for Thanksgiving. Um, this year, we sold out all day for th for Christmas Eve. Whoa, I lost you. We're back. Hi, uh, I all have day. On my head. <laughs> all day for Christmas Eve. Um, at all three locations and uh yeah it's been it's been really good so we have these meal packages it's a, a the one we normally do is called a chook for four and it's a whole chicken three of our large sides a large salad and then a couple of your dip, dipping sauces for you to choose perfect amount of food for four people unless they're like four football players then probably get two of them but like you know the average eaters like us My kids. um yeah yeah <laughs> but it's good and so we do like a holiday package um built around that meal for we did it for Thanksgiving. We're doing it again today. We've got pecan and apple pies from our bakery, sister bakery food mill, which is uh, partners Alex Seidel, our chef, and Keegan Gerhardt, the chef over at D Bar in Uptown. Delicious apple pies are killer. Um, so I've never fun. had one of those. What about cookies? Do you want me to bring an apple pie when I drop off your lunch in a little bit? Should I? Sure, unless you okay, have cookies. Deal. We have cookies. We've got our chocolate brown butter chocolate chip cookies with a little bit of Maldon sea salt. Ready so, to have that. <laughs> I'll, throw, I'll bring you some cookies <laughs> if, if it's a cookie that's the only dessert in the world i really adore is cookies yeah. cool. but it's interesting you opened in 2018 and you know i've been a fan since day one but so people know this isn't just because of 
this nightmare, COVID. I have been a fan for everything you do, no matter what. I was in charge of HOA parties. We've done everything with you mm-hmm. because they're perfect. And I know now everybody in my whole area is addicted because you do, it just pleases everyone. Yeah, it's it's fun. And it's, you know, especially coming into a new location, you know, three, so Christmas, three holiday seasons. Stanley, in a row. Tell us, so, where are you? Yeah, so if people aren't familiar with the Stanley Marketplace, it's um, we're right on the border of Denver and Aurora. So we're in Aurora. It's 2501 Dallas Street. Aurora, Colorado is the address. Um, so we're just off of Mont View, a little bit east of Mont View in Quebec. Where are um, you in the market? We're, I know you know Annette and you love Annette. We're right I, next door I to Annette. I do know Annette and love Annette. Yeah, so I, it's nice because I get to say hi to Caroline and Nelson every day. Now. Oh, it's they're great, precious. But, they're great. So we're, we're right next door from Annette across the little front entryway from Rosenberg's Bagels. So we're in, we're in really good company. Now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Annette is obviously nothing like you. I mean, it's high-end gourmet and Rosenberg's is a bagel. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of nice because there's a good mix of, especially here at the Stanley Marketplace. And it's fun having some retail out here too. There's, you know, you know, Semyon Barbershop, Base Coat Nail Salon, which I love. I think it's an awesome place run by really cool people. It's, it's just a nice, fun, lively place. It's an old aviation hangar that... Um, My pal is Allie, who runs it, you know. Oh, Allie's, she's been the best. She's been well, awesome. Allie and I have been the best of friends for like 12 years now. Yeah, she's well, great. She's awesome. She was a baby, baby then, but she's still not very old. Okay, so interesting, so people will know. You do vegan, you do vegetarian. But aside yeah. from chicken, there is no other protein on your menu. That is until this Sunday, actually. Little, Excuse me? Yeah, a little bombshell for you. So we're um, we're starting to do a couple of, we wanted to try some fun. We've got this amazing rotisserie that's custom made in Australia. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, why not try out some different things? So Chef Alex put together um, a Sunday roast and we're doing a Sunday pork roast this weekend on sunday um the 27th it's available only from 4 to 7 p.m we're only selling like i think about 20 of them we don't have many um and we're going to start doing some some fun roasts uh you know once or twice a month on sundays okay so i can how am i gonna get there one a pork roast only from four to seven on sunday yep and that's we're doing that this sunday december 27th in all and three then we're, places? At all three places. Yeah, and so we're going to have it available. Okay. When you order, I'm being really dumb because I really don't. No, that's know. great. Yeah. yeah. How many? Is it for one? Is it for two or what? So we're selling it as part of a, a meal package. So you can get just like our chook for four, we're going to do a Sunday roast for four. So it's going to be a two pound pork roast with three of our sides as an option, one large salad and a couple of dipping sauces. Oh, wow. um, sold as a meal yeah so it's it's pretty good and we're you know it, pretty i want to say we're it's it's it's, say it's awesome really. it's, it's gonna be awesome we actually got to taste it last week when alex was in the uh, kitchen testing stuff out and it was really exciting to to taste something other than not that the chicken's not killer and i eat it oh, six I days a week but love pork roast. it's uh yeah. especially in and what makes one of the things that makes chook so fun is that we do cook over live fire. So it's, you know, we we're using charcoal to cook every day. So you get that nice smoky flavor. There's a really nice sear from the really high heat. And so to have that be able to use that on different proteins is a lot of fun. So we're rolling out with some, some pork this weekend. We're going to be doing a lamb roast for new year's Eve. Okay. So 1231, we're doing a lamb roast, the same, same kind of style as the pork. We're doing it as a meal. And we're also going to be selling a couple of specials. So that night we're doing a uh, black eyed peas and collard greens dish. That's a meal in its, in itself, but it's uh, killer. It's going to go great I'll with the lamb. Go back to the lamb roast. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do that. My, my best friend lives right near you. I know what we might be having for New Year's Eve now. Well, shoot me a text and I'll make sure that we have one saved for you for sure. And you can only get it between four and seven. Four and seven on those nights. Yeah. So Sunday we the 27th. We were just sitting with the pork. there thinking, what are we going to eat on New Year's? Because there's only like two people I see. Yeah. 
and I don't go out, so it has to be somebody who comes my way. That's fat, and this is a dinner for two. Uh, dinner have- for four. Dinner for four. In your oh. case, though, Pat, I'll we'll, we'll take care of you. I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I have no room for dinner for two. <laughs> Unless I eat it for the next four years. Okay, now this will be a different special every Sunday night. Uh, we're not sure if it's going to be every Sunday just yet, but we're we're testing it out right now. But it is something that we want to start doing in 2021. It's kind of mixing it up, That's seeing annoying. what other options are out there. Yeah, I know. Thank God. I'm ready That's for what it. I'm I sure everybody is, say. right? So <laughs> we're over it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's going to be something that we're playing around with. We're not sure if it's going to be once a month or every weekend, but... Um, Something to keep an eye out on for sure. So, and actually, the best it, place it'll be a huge hit because people are it's bored be to death. Yeah, and it's especially for for people to be able to come in and have Chef Alex Seidel's food, doing something special that they can get for takeout, you know, and to feed a family of four or you know per person for you know ten to fifteen bucks. It's a screaming deal. Really clean, I healthy food. I didn't ask how much it cost. I didn't know whether you knew. Yeah, so we're doing, it's uh, basically for the, the meal for four, for the pork is, um, I want to say we're doing that for around $55, $59. So that is very affordable. Yeah, yes. huge bargain. Yeah. Um, if I yes. can only eat for one. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and that's one of the things that we, um, Chuck is not, we're not here for special occasions. We're not here, you know, for one my time you go out of a meal. <laughs> But we're, we're really here, and it's, it's food that you can eat every day. It's affordable. It's clean. It's high quality. Our kitchens are made from scratch, everything. Um, so it's really making sure that people have access to good, healthy food at okay. not a, a, an outrageous price is something that means a lot to I us. agree. And please explain that while you can't dine in because – the rules yes. don't let us. Yeah, they don't let us. But we do have dining rooms in our locations. So whenever the, the world does come back, oh, we've got right. we do have seating. So but as soon have, as things kind of open up. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say we do have limited seating in-house for at all of our locations, not available right now until restrictions are lifted, but we do have patio seating at all three. So as long as the weather's nice like it is today, it's gorgeous outside. Um, we do have small patios um, now, but a larger one here at the Stanley Marketplace, tons of room. Right. Um, and then a, a pretty decent sized patio over on 8th Avenue. Um, and then uh, over at South South uh, Pearl Street at our Platte Park location, the original shop, we've got about four or five tables outside. So you can dine outside if you're dining in. We're great for taking to the parks. If you want to pick something up and go have a picnic and you, you want to eat out, you know, kind of fresco on your own. And, and just spot. so people know, You've got it down to a science. It's very easy to pick up your delivery, place your order. They'll bring it to your car. They'll have it ready. I mean, it's something that's really easy to do. It is. And we, um, so we have online ordering available. You can pick what time you want your meal to be ready. Um, It's actually, we get busy and it seems like everybody in Denver is eating dinner at the same time right now because of COVID and because of the pandemic. So we get a little earlier and earlier. I know. Well, happy hour starts at three. (laughs) (laughs) I think it starts at noon for a lot of people, but um, you know, for us, and we we do get really busy around the 5.30 to 6.30 hour. So picking up dinner earlier is great. We'll be super fast for you. You know, coming in after 6.30 is always really great. We're a little faster then. Do a little bit longer of a wait time during dinner hours, but it's, you know, never more than like typically more than like a half an hour for us to get your food ready for you. But if you come in during lunch, we're quick, 10 minutes, you know, you come in during the middle of the day, we can get stuff going for you fast. And it's, we're meant to be quick and speedy. And you have great cocktails to go. We do. So cocktails to go, wine from Atomo Wines, you know, selection of local beers. We've got a Negroni, an old fashioned, the margarita. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just a fun little vodka daisy cocktail with some pomegranate juice. Uh, really fun stuff. Really simple, really easy, approachable, and fun. Well, you do just a fabulous job. And, I mean, A, I can attest to it because I'm sort of a loyal customer. Plus, if you ever want catering or parties, and everybody who's there is so mm-hmm. nice. We you know, and that's... That's one of my favorite things about what we do is that we have we've got great teams and great people and the fact that we've been able to to maintain and thrive and open up a third store during this really dark time I for the restaurant industry. Awesome. It's it's 
uh, it's one of the things that gets me up every morning to know that we're creating a space for people to have work. I still get to show up and have a job every day. We get to feed families. We get to like, you know, hopefully provide not only food for folks that are out there that want to eat, but also, you know, a place for people to come and make good money and have a good place to work that's healthy and a, a nice environment. So we, yeah, we've got good folks, very, very good folks. Good for you. And I realize we're talking about Shook Chicken, but we should give Alex a plug and say Mercantile has reopened. Mercantile has reopened. He's got a new chef and a new general manager and sommelier down there. So he's cranking with all kinds of fun stuff. I can't wait to get in. I think they just opened up again on the, um, I want to say the yes. 15th of December. Yeah, so I have not been. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. Well, he's, you have, a, you work with a great group. You're fabulous, Adam, Alex, everybody is beyond incredible. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a cool team. Yeah, for, I mean, you have chicken, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, your roast potato things. Yeah, the little potato wedges. Um, those are, those are killer. They're actually, we try and source local wherever we can. And those wedges are fun because they're yellow jelly potatoes from the San Luis Valley here in Colorado. And they're grown at a farm down there called Jones Family Organics. And we started with those on the menu and they were really popular. And we wiped out like three months. In three months, we wiped out their entire year's supply. And then we picked them up again last year. And then we had, it was like, you know, they've been planting more and more so we, they can keep up with the demand. But yeah, we do these awesome little potato wedges. We don't deep fry anything. So, you know, that we roast them in the oven, pan saute them with a little bit of butter, toss them in our chook chicken salt, which is this um, very Australian condiment. You know, we're, we're inspired by the Australian uh, chicken shops. And they, in Australia, they toss French fries, or they call them chips, in chicken salt. And it's this kind of like curry rich um, spice. It's kind of delicious. It's, and it's awesome on everything. Vegetables yeah. and salads are all, if you're really healthy, they're delicious. And if you're not healthy, they're delicious. <laughs> so it doesn't <laughs> matter. Very true. Very true. It just, and you have sandwiches, entrees, yep. salads. I mean, there is something for everyone there. There really is. Yeah. And like Unless, your favorite, the avocado chicken sandwich, which I'm going to be bringing you here shortly. Oh, I, I did try the other ones. I don't know whether you know, because I get carry out when you don't know it Okay. all the time. I've tried them all. I love them all, but nothing beats avocado chicken. Yeah, it's a good, that sandwich has been killer. It's awesome. Yeah. Now, I, I really don't think I've ever had anything there. And you know, with my mouth, I would tell you. Oh, you would let me know. I, yeah. That I don't like. <laughs> But, okay, are you open New Year's Day or closed? We are, yeah. So we're, we're closed tomorrow on Christmas at all three locations. And then we, we serve seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, and we're going to be open for regular hours on Saturday, the 26th. And we're open all day on New Year's Eve. We're open all day on New Year's Day. Um, so, yeah, so we're not closing anytime soon for anything. So people can get us whenever they feel like. Okay, but specialties, four to seven Sunday, you have to call and ask, and at all three places. Yep, and actually, you can order those online. We're going to have them available. So if you go, the easiest way for people to order from us is just, it's chookchicken.com, and there's a big banner on the, the homepage that says order for takeout or delivery, and you click that, place your order. We'll have those available on the website. We'll have them available for call-in. They're probably going to go pretty fast because there's only 20 of them per location. Um, so we encourage people to, to um, call ahead and uh, to do that quickly. Um, that way they can snag one and keep it um, and that they don't disappear too, too fast. But yeah. I want one. Uh, but I want one for two. <laughs> and I can tell you the whole order, but I won't now. Because now, <laughs> my, now my New Year's is complete. Oh, I just want this to end. So you tell, I, I know all this, but please tell everybody the three exact locations. They know they're open all the time. Yep, you got it. So uh, the original location is at 1300 South Pearl Street. Um, and that's over in the Platte Park neighborhood of just a few blocks east, uh, I'm sorry, a few blocks west of Washington Park. Corner um, of Louisiana and Pearl, if you want to know, go ahead. Nailed it, yep. Corner, two blocks two blocks north of Sushi Den, if you know where right. Sushi Den is. Oh, okay, it's just easy, you know where you are. And then, 
And then uh, the second location is our East 8th Avenue location. That's 4340 East 8th Avenue. Um, and that's four blocks east of Colorado Boulevard on corner 8th of 8th and Birch. Corner of 8th and Birch. Thank you very much. And then out here yeah, in the Stanley Marketplace. Yeah, just trying to make it easy. You, you got it. <laughs> I'm going the Google route, giving everybody numbers. You're just making it easy for them. So then here at Stanley Marketplace, um, just outside of the Central Park neighborhood over in Aurora. So pretty easy to find us. Well, you're great. Shook is fat. If I'm Shook Charcoal Chicken, I just call it Shook. You can just call it Shook. That's good. That's, that's, that's it good. is wonderful. It's probably one of the best things that happened to Denver. It's local to everybody. Please support local as well. Thank you. For and that. you all do an amazing job. And I well, love you doing thank it. You. Love you and too. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. If you don't talk to all the people, be well. My love to Alex, Adam, and everybody else. And you're the best. Well, Much love. Thanks, Gabby. Much love to you too. Stay well to everybody. Right. See you soon. All right. Bye.